Today we are building one super high-end, all ASUS themed PC build thanks to M-Wave and ASUS. I'll leave that parts list in the video description. Today's video is sponsored by Wondershare Dr. Phone. Wondershare Dr. Phone is a program with lots of different features. However, for today, we're gonna to be focusing on the WhatsApp transfer feature. Download Dr. Phone from the link in the video description. You can connect two devices, Android or iOS, and transfer your WhatsApp messages from one device to the other. You can also back up your WhatsApp messages and attachments to the PC. If you would like to restore your WhatsApp backups to a device, you can also select that option. Wondershare Dr. Phone also has the option to back up WeChat, Viber, and much more. Dr. Phone is the best choice for transferring your WhatsApp messages from one device to another, so why not give it a try? A few extra features that come with this app is the ability to recover lost data, whether it be lost contacts, messages, photos, or faulty SD cards. You can even remove the screen password from your phone if you forgot the code. Check out Wondershare Dr. Phone using the link in the video description. And while you're over there, go and check out all of the other awesome apps that Wondershare has to offer.
We loaded up a few games to test the PC's performance. Shadow of the Tomb Raider 4K Ultra settings was incredible. We never saw below 80 FPS and achieved an average of 98 FPS. Metro Exodus was a little more demanding at times with lots of spikes and dips, however we ended up achieving 88 FPS on average. Red Dead Redemption 2 was our first title achieving triple figures at 4K max settings. 121 FPS was achieved. What was interesting with this system is that the power supply has a live readout of system power. During our Shadow of the Tomb Raider run, we observed around 550 to 560 watts being consumed. However, we did witness spikes up to 600 watts. It is to be noted that this particular RTX 3090 is not as power hungry as, say, your Strix cards. Our Asus Glacier motherboard was able to keep the 11700K at an amazing 60 degrees under 100% load, 4.6 gigahertz, and only had power consumption of a about 185 watts. Another cool feature about this motherboard is that it was able to give us live information readouts during our games. We loaded up Shadow of the Tomb Raider once again and observed a max of 48 degrees Celsius during our gameplay. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed the build, guys. A big thank you to M-Wave and Asus for supporting this video. I'll leave all of the specs in the video description if you'd like to go and check out all of the parts that we used for this build. As always, if you'd like to check out another video, I'll leave two to the side, one recommended by YouTube, one by me. And if you would like to support the channel, become a YouTube channel member or Patreon, I'll leave those links in the video description as well. Leave your comments down below. What colored build would you like to see next? Very curious about that one and we'll be replying to your comments. So thanks for watching guys and we'll see you all in the next one.